My name is Robert Bonavito, New Jersey Forensic Accountant. This video is part of a series of videos where I discuss forensic accounting topics for educational purposes only. If this was a litigated matter, I would take a different approach, have different conclusions based on different facts and circumstances. Hi, I'm uh, Robert A. Bonavito, New Jersey Forensic Accountant. Today's topic is going to discuss uh, how to analyze an investment opportunity. And I'm going to give you a very simple example, a framework that you can use when you're analyzing a, buying a business, whether to take a job, whether to buy a car, pretty much anything you do, you can use this framework. And this is going to be simplified, but you can apply it uh, to any situation, and though uh, the complexities will, will increase uh, geometrically. Um, when you analyze investment, uh, the framework we use is called net present value. And this framework, what it enables you to do is not only use, you know, calculations and do the numbers and, and, and see if it makes financial success, but it provides, it makes you think about the narrative about the business. Is it a profitable business? You know, what's our margins, that type of stuff. It's really good to do. I'm going to give you a simple example. Let's say um, you want to buy a business for $200 million. Okay, and you forecast it, let's say, $500 million of cash flows for six years. And after six years, let's just say the whole, the whole business uh, goes away. So uh, first thing you'd have to think about is what rate you would want on this business or what your discount rate is. And for this, I'm going to use um, 6%. So this is a, uh, how we would set it up. In year zero, you'd spend $200 million on the business, and the years one through six, you'd, the net cash flows from that business would be about $500 million, okay? And remember, we're standing in year zero, and we want to say whether we should do this investment or not. And um, what you would do is you just do a net present value calculation on years one through six at 6%. Now, when you do that calculation, you're going to come up to about $460 million. Okay, so all these cash flows, when I'm standing here in year six, I'm then going to bring it back and have a net present value, and it's going to exceed the cost by $460 million. So if you're going to have a positive net present value, you'd probably do that, uh, that make that investment from a uh, purely uh, financial standpoint. Of course, I'm assuming that your discount rate takes into all the, uh, all the uh, risk associated with the investment and the cash flows that you estimated are uh, uh, pretty accurate. And if they're accurate, well, listen, $460 million for a $2 million uh, investment, you're going to get your $2 million, you're going to get your $200 million back, and then you're going to walk away with $460 million in year zero with the net present value. And this is what we use, and like I said, the more you use it, the better you're going to get at it and it's a pretty effective way to look at uh, investment alternatives. Uh, my name is Robert Bonavito. If you have any questions, fee free, feel free to uh, email me.